Hi, this is Michael Christie, the Virginia G. Piper Music Director of the Phoenix Symphony. All hands are on deck for our epic season-closing program at Symphony Hall. 175 performers in the chorus and the orchestra will be joining me for this program presenting the greatest choruses throughout time from the great stage of the opera. I wanted to start this performance off with as much energy and excitement as possible. And so to the theme of love and to the great bullfight of Act 4 of Carmen, its dramatic prelude and then two choruses that follow, I think, are just a triumphant way to start off this great program. <laughs> No opera chorus program will be complete without the resplendent music of Giacomo Puccini. We begin his set with music from Turandot in Peking, China, and we conclude with his humming chorus from Madama Butterfly. In this incredibly serene moment, Butterfly is sitting, waiting for Pinkerton to return, and the just hushed chorus singing so delicately concludes the beautiful music of Act Two. To finish the first half of this program, we have the dance music from Borodin's Prince Igor, also known as the Palavichian Dances. Now this music is often just played by orchestra, but it's even that much more powerful when the Phoenix Symphony Chorus joins us. When we come back from the intermission, we begin with the Magic Flute Overture, one of the final works that Mozart composed. And to give a little contrast, I've put in one of the wonderful choruses from Idomeneo, one of the operas that Mozart wrote about age 25. <laughs> All of the composers that we hear on this program have somehow changed the course of the history of opera, but possibly none so much as Richard Wagner. And so we'll be playing two grand examples of his music from Lohengrin and from Tannhäuser. The orchestra and the chorus both get to soar, not only with the majesty of these stories, but just the power and potency that only Wagner seems to be able to deliver. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to conclude one of these programs when you have the music of Giuseppe Verdi. Verdi is one of these composers who really knew how to make the stage come alive with the orchestra and the chorus. So to finish the program, you'll be hearing music of Nabucco, but also the very famous anvil chorus of Il Travatore. And we've been working on getting lots and lots of anvils for our presentation. As icing on the cake, we wanted to finish with the triumphant music from Verdi's Aida. I think there's possibly no grander music and no better way to celebrate what has been a marvelous season full of adventure and fun. I want to thank all of you for joining us, not only for this program, for what has been a truly triumphant season. Thank you, and we'll see you at Symphony Hall. Oh, oh, oh.